Hi, this is Charlie giving you uh, Wednesday's video. I'm actually recording this. Uh, what day is it? It's a week ago now. <laughs> I'm actually recording this on Wednesday the 5th of June. But I thought, oh, although I'm away, I can get this uploaded and so still do a video for you. Anyway, so the title of this week's video is going to be something like, um, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm uploading this remotely whilst I'm away in the future. So I'm recording this today on the 5th and I'm going to be uploading it in the future. So I don't know what I'm going to title it yet. But I was asked by someone uh, in a message um, he wants to turn um, and he's quite confident of turning a 200 pounds a trading account into a hundred thousand um, pounds in the next 10 months so by April of next year so I guess my the, the title will probably be something like is it possible to turn 200 pounds into a hundred thousand pounds um, my answer is going to be categorically no, um, because in 10 months, <laughs> um, I in all the years that I've been trading, I've never, ever seen anyone put in that kind of re return. And I know this is like a red rag to a ball with some naive traders out there, relatively new traders might think, well, no, I'll, I'll be able to do it. OK, go away and do it and then come back and, you know, and show me. <laughs> um, I've never seen it happen. Um, can you do spectacular returns? Yes, but over ten months, not like that. No. So, um, but the um, the question was, um, I don't know what it was a question. Basically, he said he's been trading for three and a half years, um, and is aiming to turn two hundred thousand into a hundred thousand by April of twenty twenty. Um, so, in about ten months, from where we are now, um, and his aim is to make four percent a day and compound it. Now, this is where sometimes it becomes a little bit naive that um, that traders think that oh I'm using a risk risk reward ratio a risk rate reward ratio of one to three oops and and compounding the the four percent um and the reality is that this is why I say it's not possible because firstly you know you don't sit there making four percent a day don't care what your strategy is I don't care sorry you can do all the testing you like in the world your strategy will not yield four percent a day every day for the next 10 months that's not the way the markets work they come and flow they ebb and flow strategies will ebb and flow doesn't matter what you tested it over it may, it won't necessarily do perform like that in the future it's not to say it won't perform but it might be diff different so um, is it possible and compounding? And why, why I'm saying this is naive, and it's not anything against the individual who sent me this message, but it just shows a bit of naivety as far as how new they are to the markets. Because um, one is that it doesn't work that way anyway. You can't just keep compounding. So what that is reliant on is you constantly increasing the position size, you know, pretty much day by day. Um, you're not going to be able to do that because you're going to get to points where you're going to reach psychological levels as well and this is it's all very well just sitting down and doing some mathematics and saying oh if I do this and I do that then this is what this turn this will turn into um, that's not the reality of trading um, there's a lot of mindset that comes that, that is involved when it comes to the markets and so to just oh the phone's ringing now um, should I answer the phone hold on a second I'm going to press pause so the, the psychological mindset side of things is that as the position size grows, you'll get to psychological hurdles whereby you won't be comfortable trading at the new position size that you're now at um, because it takes time and 10 months is not enough time to go from trading at tiny position size, which is what they would be at on a £200 account, to once it's even got to 10 or £20,000, uh, the new sort of position sizes, um, the, the mindset just won't won't be able to handle it and um, you're training at new position sizes then you start tightening up you don't put stops in quite the same places that you were previously because you're then you worry about the trade that little bit more until your mindset can catch up with the price with the this new size of account then there'll be a point where it's still small you know 200 pounds gets to a thousand pounds gets to two thousand pounds still small and your mindset might be fine but you'll get to psychological hurdles where it won't be that way so let alone the fact that the strategy just won't no strategy will compound at four percent a day every day so forget that that's you know that's not going to happen um but there's the psychological side of it as well now is it in theory uh, possible to turn two hundred thousand pounds uh, sorry two hundred pounds into a hundred thousand pounds 
um, at some point, forgetting 10 months or a year. Yes, of course, um, over a period of time, it is possible. You can get 200 pounds into a thousand and then into 2000, then bit by bit over time, um, is it possible? Once that 200 pounds, it's got to several thousand, then that several thousand gets into 15,000, 15,000 grows to 20 and 25. And um, then yes, it can happen. But over such a short period of time, no. Um, um, so is it possible? No. Um, obviously, part of answers on a postcard. If you want to comment on this video, then by all means do so. Um, and I don't mean to be controversial here and, and upset the apple cart, but I have to give realism um, to trading as well. And that is not realistic. So um, if anyone wants to add anything and add their own co uh, contributions to this video, then by all means do so. I'm away um, walking around Dartmoor National Park at the moment, most likely. So I'm going to get back to that and um, I shall see you next week.